welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been a long time. Apologies for being away so long. I'm not gonna spend loads of time explaining myself, but I shall give myself a slap on the wrist for not making any content sooner. Also, I apologize if it's a little echoey in here for today's video, I am here in my bathroom. So apologies for a very blank and plain background as well. Today we are doing a skincare video for you. So I know I've done a couple of skincare videos previously, but today I'm going to be focusing on my skincare routine using the products that I use every day. And as most of you know, if you've been here from the beginning of my channel, you'll know that I am a professional skincare consultant and the brand we use at work is Elemis so it is Elemis heavy for today's skincare. Another reason why I'm doing this video for you as well is in light of what is going on my salon is closed and that is the same for all non-essential businesses worldwide at the moment I think and I'm just trying to help work out a little bit by talking about the LMS skincare products, giving you some extra knowledge, a little bit of insight to a couple of new products that have recently launched as well and if you fancy treating yourself to any skincare from today's video then I will leave a link down below in the description box which will take you directly to my works website where we have set up a shop so you can buy the LMS products to use on your skin at home during your isolation period. All right, without further ado, we shall start with cleansing the skin. All righty, so the product that I will be cleansing with is a brand new product. It is part of the Superfood range. The Superfood range mainly focuses on bringing health back into the skin. So if your skin is kind of looking a bit dull, a bit discolored, you've got a few breakouts happening and it just needs a freshen and a liven up, then the Superfood range is great for your skin, it's suitable for all skin types, all ages as well. So the superfood product that I'm going to be cleansing with is the new Superfood Seeker Calm Cleansing Foam. It is a micellar foam, so it does have the micelles in here to attract dirt and grime which picks it up on the skin when you're cleansing with it to draw out those toxins that lie on the surface of your skin. With it being a foam as well, it's perfect for oily skin types. It helps to pick up that extra excess oil, but without stripping away the essential oils that your skin needs to help form its microbiome. So this works best if your skin is a little bit damp. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen up my skin. This cleanser is fantastic if you do suffer with a sensitive skin type as well. The Seeker ingredient in here is a really nice calming and gentle ingredient so it's not going to be harsh on the skin at all, if anything it's going to calm it down. It is vegan as well and it does include vegan kefir with fermented rice water which does help to calm your skin even further. So let's apply to the skin. Just two to three pumps will do you well. It smells amazingly fresh as well. So you will want to rinse this with warm water. So I'm using a muslin face cloth to remove this. I have said in a previous video just to not put on too much pressure if you're using a muslin cloth because it does gently exfoliate the skin. So next I'm going to tone with the Superfood Kaifa Tea Mist. This is a four-in-one product so you can use it as a refresher throughout the day and a makeup primer. You can use it as a toner and as a setting spray for your makeup as well. So for today's purpose, I'll be spritzing onto a cotton pad to wipe over my face with and using it as a toner. So again, using the fermented kaifa here, as well as green tea extracts, which is full of antioxidants, so it's gonna make your skin look really fresh and awake. Next up, I've got my Superfood Seeker Calm Booster. 
This is used more as a boosting skin treatment. It also comes in the Pumpkin AHA Glow Booster. Seeker Calm is more for a sensitive skin type or a blemished skin type. It's gonna really help to balance the skin um, as well as calming it down, which I don't know if you can see on camera, but I do have redness just across my nose here. Um, and I do get quite a lot of hormonal breakouts. So when I use this, I don't use it over my whole face. I literally just pat it on just on the lower half of my face because that's where my skin needs it. You do use this as a treatment for when your skin on and where your skin needs it, okay? It is designed to go underneath your facial oil. Elemis have been able to create this booster so it's smallest in molecular size. So when you're layering products, you really wanna think about what is smallest in molecular size and that is the product you want to put on first. The Pumpkin AHA Glow Booster is more um, for like a dull skin complexion. Um, a textured skin complexion because of the AHAs in there. It does help just to gently exfoliate the surface of the skin. So I'm only popping on two to three drops of this, that's all you need. And then you just smooth it and literally just pat where you need it and it absorbs straight into the skin. So the AHA Glow Boost would be perfect. I mean, I know weddings and everything have been cancelled due to what's going on, um, but if you do have like a party or an event or like a wedding coming up, using the AHA Glow Booster two weeks before that event will really, really help to give your skin a gorgeous glow. Next, I'm going on with my facial oil and it is my trusty superfood oil. I have been using this on my skin for years. In my fave products video, I did talk about the Pro Collagen Marine Rose Facial Oil. Um, I tend to use that one as well. I kind of switch between the two depending which one I feel like I fancy. Superfood oil is a little bit more dense than the marine oil but the marine oil does obviously have that anti-aging benefit within that oil treatment as well. So superfood oil is made up of nine natural oils, 100% oils in here as well. There's nothing else other than the nine oil extracts. If you have watched my fave products video, you'll remember me talking about how oil helps to fight oil, so don't shy away from using facial oils if your skin is oily. It does help to control the sebum production levels in your sebaceous glands, meaning that the natural production of oil on your skin will slow down because you're kind of training your skin not to produce as much oil because we're popping some on topically anyway. All right, so two to three drops and then you wanna pat on your skin and then smooth it over. So you can see it's sitting lovely on my skin. It does absorb gorgeously as well, but instantly I've got that glow to my skin. Next up is another brand new product to the superfood family. It is the Seeker Calm Hydration Juice. Perfect again for a sensitive skin type. With it being in the Seeker Calm part of the superfood range, it does obviously help to naturally calm your skin down. With this product as well, it is made up of 75% of aloe leaf juice, which again, for those sensitive and extremely sensitive skin types, that aloe juice will really help to calm and cool down any irritation that you have on the skin. So perfect if you suffer with any blemishes because it's gonna really help to calm that area down and perfect if you do suffer with redness and sensitivity. Again, it'll just feel ever so nice and soothing and cooling on the skin and bring any redness straight down. This is a serum. It does say that you need two to three pumps, but I personally feel like that's too much. One pump is plenty for my skin, so it will go a really long way for you. So it is a gel consistency serum, and as soon as I pop it on the skin, it feels so much cooler. So again, you just wanna pat it round to where you want to distribute it on the skin and then smear it in. 
Time for my eye cream now. I'm using the Elemis Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment Serum. This is a anti-wrinkle eye serum and because I'm now 25, I need to start thinking about preventing wrinkles. I do always recommend using a separate eye cream to your moisturizer to use around your eye because it is such a delicate area of the face. It is the thinnest area of skin. And sometimes if you use just your normal day cream to pop around your eyes, that can be a little bit too heavy for this area. Again, it says two pumps, but one pump is more than enough. So on your ring finger, you're gonna pat round. I did just distribute it on my middle finger as well, just because it was running. And then you pat around the eye and then just smooth round. So when you pop eye creams on, you can feel the bone around your eye socket. That is where you want to apply any eye product because if you pop it directly underneath, you are going to risk having too much product in here. The skin underneath your eye is basically like tissue paper. So if you were to pop a drop of water on some tissue paper, imagine it will just bleed through. That is what your skin is like. So if you pop too much product on the skin under the eye itself, it, the product is just gonna sit there and that's when you start to get puffy and like baggy eyes. You... Okay. And that is when you start to get puffy. And that is when you start to get puffy and baggy eyes because the product just sits there. It's got nowhere to go. So if you're popping the product on around, then at least this part under here will then take what it needs. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with my day cream. So again, I'm using the Superfood Day Cream. It's packed full of prebiotics, which helps the healthy function of the skin. The whole Superfood range is basically helping to encourage the natural microbiome of the skin to be as healthy functioning as possible. And it's all about feeding the skin with that nutrients and that antioxidants but in order for our skin to be able to function nice and healthily. About two pumps will be perfect and again just like the rest you're tapping over and smoothing in. Don't forget your neck super lightweight as well so you can see my skin is looking very fresh if you're having a no makeup day and want to be extra glowy a little tip that you can do with your superfood oil is to just pop maybe one drop on your ring finger rub together and then just apply on the areas that you want to look even more dewy there we have it guys, that is my skincare routine using the amazing superfood range and I've given you an inside look to the new products as well. If there's anything that you've seen me use here today that you want to treat yourself to, treat your skin to, then I'll leave the link down below to our salons website which will take you directly to our online shop. It would be amazing in these hard and difficult times to support a smaller business so if you can, shop your Elemis through us at Simpsons. Thanks for watching guys. I shall see you next time. Take care of yourself and take care of your skin. Bye.